How to add collision to Quixel meshes easily. So there's obviously people are going to try this, but there's actually a very easy way to do this. And it takes like five seconds. So all you got to do is grab something like this and you got to just download it. I'm just going to download it in the night night quality because I don't care. It's just a mesh. I'll take it. So what this is, it's a very simple process. It's just going to take a second to load this. I'm going to click on add and it's going to pop up a little window if well, there we go. I was wondering what was taking it so long. There we go. So now that we got this, you can actually just click on one of these. It's going to take it a second to load like the materials, the textures, and then the actual models themselves. For some reason, I've noticed always take a good second to load in 5.1. Not sure what that's about. But as soon as we open this up, usually the icon will eventually pop up as soon as you've opened this up. All right, perfect. So now that we're in here, so you can see the icons there now. So what we're going to do is go in here. Uh, firstly, you can preserve the area. I'd only really recommend using this when it's something like a tree or grass. Or I don't really know why you'd use it for grass, but for trees most specifically, you're going to click on collision. Now, usually people are going to click on one of these options over here. No, you want to go down to auto con conv convex collision. I don't even know how to pronounce that. I ignore me. My pronunciations are horrible. So you'll notice you can actually mess around with this precision and stuff like that to make it just a little bit like just play around with that until it actually works out how you'd like it and as soon as you click apply to the mesh it's going to do that and you can see these green little collision markers here these little lines are informing you of where that collision is so you can see it's a little bit off there so if I turn down the whole count we do that pretty sure that that's actually gonna make it worse let me up the whole count to like 21 see what happens then I'm not sure there we go so you can play around with this to do what you want with it uh, I'm pretty sure that does something max hole vert, vert verts whatever sorry I almost said vertexes <laughs> anyways you can see you can kind of just play around with this um, precision you can turn that up even more to like 30 what, what number is that I'm not sure and that's going to take a it's gonna take a bit longer when you turn up to precision but as you can see, when you do that, it's going to get way more precise. I'm going to turn down the camera speed to like two. You can go up to here. It's getting much more precise. That little bit still kind of hanging off there. If we go down in here, check that out. That's pretty cool. But if you go down here, you can still see. Look at that. That's pretty cool, right? So now if you go ahead and click on save, we can go ahead and just minimize. Although I'd usually close this as it does take away your FPS. You can put this on your um, little map here, and then you can just spawn in. Ignore the character. This is completely for testing. It's a it's a test mesh. I'm just testing out the um, blueprints on this. So you can see we're going to collide with this. And now, as you can see, it actually is quite precise. It's um, Unless you go back in here. Like, it, literally all of this, it's quite precise. It automatically does that. You can play around with it and make it manual, but this is my favorite way of doing this. Uh, this gets the job done so much easier, but if it's going to be a lot bigger, then I would recommend you to play around with it a lot more to make it a lot more precise. Generally, if it's smaller and there's less edges, it's not going to have much trouble. But if there's like a crap ton of edges like one of these cliffs over here and they're huge, it's definitely going to have some trouble and there's going to be some areas that is just mesh and you can walk straight through it. But in general... This is a quick and easy way to get Collision on here for testing in case you need it. So yeah, if you found this helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.